The final function of an operating system is file management. Operating systems give users and applications easy access to secondary storage. This is made possible with files and folders. There are lots of different types of file depending on the applications used to create them. For example, there are text documents, spreadsheets, presentations, images, movies, audio files, program files and many, many more. The operating system can identify a file type by its file name extension. So when you double click a file, the operating system can use the file name extension to decide which application it should use to open it. Most modern operating systems include a file explorer, an application that lets you create folders to save your files in. You can also create folders inside folders, so you can organise your work in a hierarchical file system. A file explorer allows you to copy, move, rename and delete files and folders. And if you're sharing a computer, you can fine-tune the access that other users have to individual files or the entire contents of a folder. But it's worth noting that not everything is as it seems. The way files are stored physically on secondary storage is rather different to the way it's made to look by the operating system. And exactly how depends very much on the type of secondary storage medium, be it magnetic, optical or solid state. The operating system allows us to visualise data handling tasks as if we were working with a paper-based filing system, regardless of how the binary data are actually encoded at the hardware level. This means we can work more intuitively than if we had to think about what was really going on behind the scenes. But that as they say, is another story. To summarise, the operating system provides easy access to secondary storage for applications and ultimately for users. Folders and subfolders allow for the hierarchical organisation of files. A file explorer application displays detailed information about files and provides file handling operations such as move, copy, rename and delete. File and folder permissions allow for fine control over shared access to files and folders.